right. Hello. Um, yeah, this video is not going to be quite like uh, my other videos, which are a little bit more uh, populist or whatever. Um, I didn't actually really want to make this video because um, I'd rather stay out of publicly chiming in my voice on these kind of issues. Uh, I don't really like getting into sensitive things this th this sensitive, um, especially when there are kind of mixed feelings about. Uh, about it, but uh, I saw something on MSNBC today that kind of got just reminded me reminded me of something that I've been through before uh, with certain um, liberals of Caucasian persuasion, and um, it it just I mean I I couldn't believe they, that I I wound up being on Michael Steele's side when he used to annoy the crap out of me, but that I totally was on his side today. And, um, I mean, I am, I am conservative, but, uh, I'm moderate, you know, so I, I, uh, I'm independent. I can, I can, politically, I can vote for anybody. Um, I'm a swing voter, unless Obama's in the election. If he's in the election, I'm voting for Obama, but if he's not in the election, I'm a swing voter. <laughs> um, but, um, anyway, what happened is, uh, it's something that I've experienced before, before, before I even saw this thing on TV today, uh, I think it was on Alex's show or something. Um, but this, uh, this white guy, uh, basically was comparing black people to gay people. And, um, because he was trying to say that the, that the, the civil rights thing is the same thing. And uh, granted, I know this is going to be a hot button issue for a lot of people, but here's why I'm going to voice my opinion and, such, and, and, and feelings on it. Because now I'm involved. Because I am black. I'm African American. I am ethnic. I am colored. I am a person who's not white. Okay? <laughs> so, uh, and, and since um, the white guy seems to think that, you know, he's not white, I mean, he's not black or gay, he's not ethnic or gay, but he's going to put his opinion in on both. I figure since I am at least one of those things, I should probably maybe express my feelings about it because Michael Steele, he, uh, I could tell he didn't really want to get too deeply into it, especially on a, on a liberal network. And he also probably maybe even not, wasn't, wasn't even prepared uh, to articulate his feelings on it and probably didn't even want to think about it at the time. But I have articulated my thoughts about it many times to many people who have um, tried to bring it to my uh, attention and their feelings. In fact, uh, I, to, the, the worst experience I ever had with trying to, uh, to, to determine the differences, why it's an ignorant thing to compare uh, blacks and gays and, or anybody of color, I mean sorry, anybody with an ethnicity basically. Because <laughs> anybody who's not white or male has experienced some type of discrimination in America. Okay, so that's just number one. Let's just face that fact. Um, you know, even the people who are originally living here before this, you know, land was stolen from them, <laughs> Indians, you know, so they were discriminated against and they, they were here first. So let's, let's be clear, everyone's been discriminated against, okay, especially if, you know, they're not a rich white male. But what, what the main thing is, though, is, um, Okay, just to give you an example of what I, I some of the, some of my negative experiences with the situation, why it's so ignorant to compare one set one 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 thing that's that's different from another thing that's different, or one thing that's uh, uh, considered uh, discrimination versus something else that's uh, that is or isn't I don't know. It depends on your your point of view. I was at uh, one, one of my friends, uh, who's bi, um, I, w I was hanging out with him at, his, at this place he was working at, Blockbuster Video, and uh, his gay co-worker was, um, you know, he was talking crap, and I, I didn't really listen, I, I wasn't really too involved in the conversation, but he was talking to us about how, oh, Tyler Perry, any guy who plays a, a woman so much must be gay or whatever, and... Um, you know, I was just like, well, you know, whatever, I don't know. I forget exactly how it came out of that, but he wound up comparing black people and gay people to be the same. And I was just like, um, no, they're not. <laughs> and I was like, that's like really ignorant to say, uh, ignorant of you to say. And I'm like, you know, and he's like, well, no, they are, they are like the same. I'm like, no, they're not. I'm black. I can tell you they're not. He's like, well, I'm gay, so I can tell you they are. And I'm just like, okay. I can see this is going to go nowhere, so I'm just going to not say anything. But he kept talking, and I don't have a lot of self-control. So 
when you start to, I mean, verbally speaking, I can control myself physically, but when you, when you, when you start talking about something that's, that's bothering me, that's provoking me, and you won't stop talking about it, I'm probably going to uh, continue talking about it myself. Um, cause I, I let it go. I totally let it go. I'm like, this is like something I should not get involved in, <laughs> but he wouldn't shut up. And like, he worked there. I'm like, well, I mean, he shouldn't probably even be talking about these things if he's going to be working there. But anyway, what happened is I wound up being like, no, there's like a whole bunch of differences between black people or anybody of any ethnicity and gay people and what they've experienced in this in in this country. Okay, first of all, let's just get some basics here. Gay, uh, being gay, that's a sexuality. Okay, being black, that's an ethnicity. First of all, a sexuality and an ethnicity, they're not the same regardless of your opinions. Um, gay is, being gay or homosexuality is uh, an abnormality. Okay, and I know nobody wants to say it that way, but it is. It's less than 0.01% of the population or something like that is, is gay. And whereas the majority of the world is ethnic, okay? The majority of the world is ethnic, all right? Is, is of some form of ethnicity or color, okay? Um, homosexuality is an orientation, whereas uh, being of color or ethnicity, that's simply a race, you know? Um, homosexuality involves an actual behavior Whereas, you know, being black, Hispanic, Asian, Indian, whatever, that's simply being uh, being of a certain heritage. It has nothing to do with any type of, of behavioral action. Um, you know, being gay, that, that involves psychology, whereas being black, I mean, everything involves psychology. And I guess they both can involve the, the body. But, you know, one is an image, whereas one it, it requires an action, I guess you could say. It, it, depending on your point of view, I guess. Um, one is a moral issue uh, in many faiths, in many cultures, uh, the religious doctrines, like in the Bible, uh, homosexuality is a sin, and uh, because it's considered blasphemous, uh, because two men and two women can't have a baby by nature. It's just, if everybody were gay, the world would end, because the life cycle would not continue. Whereas um, a black man and a white woman, for example, could still have kids, obviously. They had one great one. Barack Obama. He's awesome. Okay? <laughs> so, if we were all in interracial relationships, the life cycle would still go on. Whereas if we were all gay, it would not. Okay? So, I tried to bring up these things, these differences, and then, of course, there's, in this particular country, there is uh, more to it than just basic differences, besides, uh, besides scientific differences and, and, and moral uh, religious uh, differences and um, just simply mathematics. You know, one thing, it's kind of like, uh, well, uh, before I even get into the mathematics, even simply historically, I know gays have been uh, discriminated against, uh, you know, in, in everywhere, um, but especially in, in uh, you know, it's been more brought to light in recent times with bullying and, and horrible things where, where, where kids were committing suicide or being bullied to death and horrible, horrible things like that. But let's face it, gays were not enslaved for 250 effing years in this country, okay? In fact, no Nobody was. Only black people have that special place in America's heart. Okay? I mean, even Hispanics and Asians, Asians actually were persecuted in this country. Um, they were in a few different ways. And in, in the Japanese, especially during the times of Hitler, while the Germans just walked free. While the, the Germans were the ones who were doing all the, work, the, the, the dirty work, but then the Japanese had to pay for it. That was not right. You know, but it was all about color. Um, but anyway, um, uh, you know, there's a lot of people who've been persecuted in this country just for not being uh, a rich white man. But the point of the matter that I'm trying to make is um, there are just so many differences between being any type of ethnicity, especially black, though, because <laughs> blacks were the ones who were enslaved for 250 years in this country, whose inventions were were stolen, you know, and that we weren't given credit for this, this, the great things that we contributed to this country and things. And I'm not complaining, okay? I'm not even a complainer, okay? I'm, I'm very much with the conservative mantra, just buck up and keep going, okay? I just happen to uh, be for a Barack Obama. But the thing is, it's just kind of like, you just can't, you still can't slap us in the face and be like, well, see, because I'm white and I'm right here and you're right here, and that's slightly different from me, I'm going to put you in the same category with somebody who's way over here. <laughs> it's completely different from the majority of the entire world that we live in currently that we're now of and it's just kind of so insensitive and ignorant and i know people say insensitive things all the time but 
it's just like, haven't you insulted us enough? <laughs> I mean, you know, there's not, you know, we, we get insulted by Hollywood all the time. Oh, well, if you're black, that must mean you're a ghetto, or that must mean that you, you can't talk, or that must mean that you're a criminal. Or and Newt Gingrich, you know, he thinks that we're all criminals and lazy and on food stamps. You, screw him. You know, I mean, we get insulted. I'm not, like, again, I'm not complaining, but I'm just saying, when a, when, when a certain group of people have contributed to the backbone of a country and they continually get slapped in the face in various stupid ways it just it, 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 it even at, you know you keep smiling and you ignore it but at a certain point sometimes you feel like you have to say something you're just like okay look shut the just shut up i have to say <laughs> I, let me correct you on this because this i just can't let this go i just can't let this go and that's kind of where i'm just at right with this particular situation because you know, I felt kind of bad for Michael Steele because nobody really could feel what he was trying to say because he was the only person of color on the whole panel. Even the even the ethnic girl in the middle, she wasn't really a, a, of color. So some people probably don't even really treat her too differently. You know what I mean? The more color you have in your skin, the more people treat you differently. So we really will have crossed a serious barrier and we have a dark skinned president for once. But <laughs> but I'm just trying to say, I knew I could feel his pain. I'm not even dark, but I felt his pain. Like, I, I, I not pain, but I knew where he was... I knew what he was going through because it, it becomes such an issue where you get so emotional about it that you don't, you can't like articulate your feelings at the time, especially if you're not prepared for it. And so like I knew what he was trying to say, it just wasn't coming out. And so I felt like I just needed to, to kind of make a video just to kind of connect with you, Michael Steele, on that one issue. Um, I can't say that I connect with you on a whole lot of other issues. Um, I mean, I can on some, like on some social issues, um, because I'm a conservative, uh, socially speaking. But, um, but yeah, so I just had to, I just had to say that. Um, so people, especially you lovable, wonderful white liberals out there, okay, and I'm not trying to divi be divisive, but if you're going to step into the shoes of people whose shoes you've never, ever walked in, ever, and who's whose ancestors were probably persecuted very heavily by your ancestors, you need to watch out and be very careful, okay? Because then you're starting to uh, sound very arrogant as well as ignorant. And, I mean, do you really want to sound like the crazy GOPers? Because they do that kind of crap all the time, where they're all the time saying ignorant, arrogant things. And if you really are so against them, do you really want to sound like them? Because when you put to in something like, you know ethnicity and uh, you know a normal ethnicity and an abnormal sexuality sexual orientation together in the same just throw them blindly together just casually you really you're really going to offend somebody and you're really going to make yourself look like an ass to anybody who um understands the differences between sexuality and ethnicity abnormality and normality orientation and race, behavior and heritage, uh, moral issues and not moral issues, biological issues and not biological issues. I, the list could go on. I just, I just named the stuff that's the most obvious, you know? It's just, I just had to, you know, I just had to put that out there, okay? And, um, you know, I'm, I mean, you know, think what you want. You can have any, any opinions you want on, on gay marriage, don't ask, don't tell, homosexuality in and of itself. This isn't even about what you think of those things. This is simply about comparing those things to ethnic people, colored people, black people, anybody who just happens to look different from you. It's not the same thing. And if you really do think it's the same thing, then that says a lot more about you than it does about ethnic people and gay people. It kind of says that you really are living in a vacuum. You really are sheltered. You really are not, either you haven't been exposed to people who are really different from you, um, you know, from, from much, or you, um, you have a very separatist point of view. You have a very, uh, everybody who looks different from me or is different from me or seems different from me in any way, I lump them all together casually and ignorantly and blindly in this category over here <laughs> while I'm over here somewhere. And it's kind of like, that's, that's diminishing to everyone in that category, but it's more diminishing and uh, embarrassing for, your, for yourself, for you. So I just had to put that out there. <laughs> um, you know, and I hope I did not offend uh, anybody who was a casualty of this war, uh, of this uh, discussion. Um, you know, because I've had, I've had, I have gay friends to this day, uh, you know, and um, it's, it's not, it's not about, it's not about the actual uh, homosexuality. It's about 
respect the differences in people. Don't just lump them all together just because they don't look or act like you. Okay, that's all. All right, thank you. <laughs>